Hi, welcome to Tags Direct. This video is um, to answer the most frequently asked questions we get asked about hole sizes and the types of different holes and reinforcements that you can have in your tag. So I'm just going to cut to a few different samples. So the first one is just your punched hole basically, nice and simple. On these though, you've got to be aware if you're attaching it to clothes because you do need, uh, using a tagging gun or a Kimball gun as it's known, um, you need a three millimeter hole like this. So your Kimball gun would do something like this and you can see your barb. And the reason is, in this little T-section here, when you punch your three mil hole, it catches and it can't go through. If I punched a five mil hole through it, I've done it there and it's already fallen out. I did that for the purposes of this video, but, it's like a little thing, it's got two little T's there and literally the T just pulls out of there because the hole's too big. So that's what you need to be aware of um, if you're using a Kimball gun, basically. Other types of holes, so you've got reinforcements here, you've got metal eyelets which um, come in gold, um, black or silver. Uh, the black one's really best on a black card because they can mark um, white cards because these are kind of made of the either brass or nickel but that's like a powder coated one, so it does um, mark on lighter cards. Um, and this one here, uh, you might have seen on all the type tags, is actually called a paper washer, and it reinforces it. It looks quite traditional. Uh, this is a neon tag we did for someone, but uh, it does look nice if it's um, on these as well. So the next type of holes we've got are called Euro slots. These are die put punch slots used mostly for hanging items in retail. So the product's attached to a header card or a header tag, and Euro slot is punched in order to fit on your point of sale racking. Most people recognise and have seen these, but they just don't know what they're called. But yeah, these are Euro slots. They do come in, I mean, there's two different sizes of them depending on your racking. Um, so just give us a shout and we can uh, figure that out for you which size it is. The next one is um, a, just a traditional slot, really. So it's something like this. Um, this would need to be die cut into the tag. So we don't have a, a like a particular punch, we'd have to make one for this. So we might have your size, but uh, just give us a call anyway. Um, the two main reasons people would have a slot would, first of all, aesthetics in that it looks a bit different from the traditional round hole. It looks quite cool, quite nice. We do this on quite a lot of modern stuff. And the other one, the main reason a lot of people do it is because they wish to use ribbon at a certain width or to fit bespoke point of sale applications. Um, again, looks very nice, but um, it really depends on the application you're doing it. So if you have got a ribbon, because it can kind of scrunch up if it's in a normal hole, but if it's got like a nice slot, um, it does hang very well. So just to remind you um, that how you're attaching the tag needs some thought, uh, which in turn can affect the hole size, basically. It's very, very important, as I say, if you're using a tagging gun, um, just to get that three mil hole, otherwise that um, tagging barb will fall out. If in the meantime you need any help or advice with your swing tag requirements, um, or even just a sample pack, you can either email, call or use live help and either myself or one of the team will be able to assist you. Thanks for watching.